So here we are of an update that we've all been waiting for. Okay, we're exaggerating a little bit, but it is a very cool update. This is firmware 15 for the Oculus Quest. It's rolling out this month. You've either got it or you should be getting it pretty soon. As you can see, it's got the new universal, uh, simplified sort of universal menu. You've got your controller batteries and your headset battery indicators on the left over there. You've got your avatar and then you've got, you know, the little square grid of icons. There you go. It shows you your apps. It's got your home, your store, your browser, your chats, and you can go through all your apps, but generally it'll show you your most recent stuff in the quick start. You've got your notifications divided up into all of the categories that are most useful and you've got your sharing icon that immediately gives you casting, photography, go live and the video recording and you've got your settings menu with all these nifty new icons and you've got voice commands beta but it doesn't seem to work right now when you click set up voice commands it just does nothing for now but we're guessing this should be activated pretty soon. So then you'd be able to, like you would on a PlayStation, launch stuff just by saying it. You've got now, uh, we now have pass through on demand. You can activate it and then you double tap either the left side of your headset of your quest or the right side of your quest. I think it just basically detects you know, like little shakes, if it shakes twice from either side, it'll activate pass-through on demand. You, uh, you've got your hand tracking, you've got the, yeah, the new universal menu. There you go, you've got your pass-through shortcut with the double tap. You've got multitasking in your Oculus browser, and here we go, let's try the pass-through. Well. Right now the pass-through is active, but you're seeing a black screen because apparently it doesn't actually record what you see when you've got the pass-through going. But when the screen was black right now, that was pass-through. I was seeing my room instead of the quest interface. And that's it. It's pretty cool. Everything works fine so far.